good morning welcome to drive it day 2024 it's april the 21st and i'm out in agatha if you watched the last video which for me was yesterday when i filmed it um i did a bit of a fitness to run on agatha just checked her all over made sure she was okay because she'd been laid up for six months all was okay i have developed a slight issue this morning which is giving me the old bum twitching um been and fetch fuel before starting the journey um, and when i go around a left hand bend specifically a roundabout i've got a clicking from the front near side so the left side that's the side that's already had a wheel bearing and then a replacement hub so I'm wondering if I've got a, a drive shaft on the way out or something so I've gone very cautiously I did think shall I turn back and I thought now I'll risk it I'm in the AA um, so yeah that is the only minor peril that I'm facing at the minute um, so what am I doing today? I obviously couldn't get tickets to Statfold. I left it too late. Um, and because of the wet weather all recently in the Midlands specifically, they are not allowing any grass parking. So they've got limited pitches. So they didn't open any more up. So Statfold was a no-go. But what I found was the Great British Car Journey in Ambergate, which is about 30 miles from me, have got a Drive It Day event and for the first time they're doing 10 pound entry instead of 18 pound 50 well i've never been before so it seems an ideal thing to go there see what's about in the car park and then also go in so what i'm going to do i think i'm going to do two videos this one that i'm doing now the drive it day um what i'll do i'll film just me rambling now a bit of the viewers i'm driving and then the few bits that are on the car park there. And then I think I'll do a dedicated video inside. Um, now I understand that many, many YouTubers have done that, but I'll just do my take on it and have a look at the cars that I used to own type of thing. And you know, my typical walk around a car show type of thing. So I'm about 10 or 12 miles away, I think. And I'll flip the camera the other way. I'm gonna to have to concentrate because I sort of know where it is because we go past it in the van when we go camping, but I sort of don't really pay attention. <laughs> Heather's told me, keep following the A6. If you get to Cromford, you've gone too far. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. This camera mount in the Allegro is a bit wobbly. So I'm hoping it doesn't spoil the footage. We're just driving through Duffield now. We're on the A6, it's just a little village in Derbyshire really. Um, for me, Duffield is where I get on the train if I go on the, um, what's it called, East, think of the name of the railway Rick, I'll put it on the title, Worksworth to Duffield, can't think of the name of the, the bloody railway, anyway. That's where I catch the train from. This is the road into um, Matlock, obviously. If you follow on, you get through to Matlock Bath and then eventually into Matlock. I can't have the camera pointing as forward as I normally do in this car. It's a funny mount and um, it's, it picks up its own picture, you know, the mount. So that's why we're at a jaunty angle. But you get to see the lovely Derbyshire countryside. Um, we're obviously heading towards the Peak District and the Derbyshire Dales along here. But other than the little bit of a clicking noise that we've got, Agatha seems to be running well. The temperatures are all good. Um, other than the odd creak and groan from the suspension, which I get, we're okay. 
take my word for it though. Got told off for pronouncing something wrong the other day on a video. Nobody ever heard of regional dialects. But anywho, if you're new to the channel, when I was looking at getting a classic about four years ago now, um, it was a toss up between the marina, but I had two of them. Well, one was in Italy. Um, and I was tempted with an Austin 1100 because my granddad had one of them. But ultimately, he had the Allegro after that and I remember helping him work on the Allegro. I was a bit too young when he had the Austin. So I thought, Allegro it is. Um, so that's why I've got an Allegro. And like I say, the noise of the transmission wind just takes you back. If you're ever in Belper, this pub on the left hand side called the Devonshire is amazing. Just coming up on the left is one of the old mills. We have made it to the Great British Car Journey. Look at the exhibits, they're rubbish. I'm joking, of course. I'm out in the car park. I um, don't know what this is, some sort of reserve area or pre-prep area, who knows. But it's very windy, hence me just being undercover. So, out in the car park, there is a mini meet and also a lotus meet and then general people like me they're also having a drive out today and um, but you've got to pay 25 quid for that so I'm just gonna go and have a look inside but I will film just what's outside so you've got all the modern minis there and all the real ones there It's very, very sunny but windy. There's all the lotuses. I'm not going to do, you know, me and moderns. Nothing against them, but already been accosted by a couple of people who are admiring the Allegro, which is nice. Wolseley's there. If you do watch the channel, you'll know I'm not massive walking around and explaining the cars. I don't want to trip myself up, do I? It is really just a 
you're seeing it through my eyes type of thing that's how I do it as I've said many many times if you want a detailed look around anywhere have a look at Mr. Joseph Lloyd's channel he's a full-on show you around every single car he is there we go Maserati next to me look YBF 488D interesting fact my dad's Austin Cambridge that I always go on about was YD, YBF 166D what about that it's a Staffordshire Reg anyway there's Agatha as I say I've got a clicking noise from this front wheel sounds drive shafty this is the MG that I've followed in and then nice SD1 there 2.6 old Volvo there that is a lovely Escort Mark II old Citroen there very nice now I want to show you this DeLorean the guy there in the hoodie came straight over to the Allegro he used to have one this is his DeLorean he's had it for I think is it 20 years restored it himself has imported it from America I didn't realize he told me there's only actually around 12 right-hand drives in the UK so there you go it's nice to see and he said if you look really carefully other than the little model on the dash of the back to the future car there is a slight reference on the tax disc replica tax disc there look issuing Hill Valley and that's it that's his back to the future reference look at that a Mark IV Zephyr didn't realize the spare wheel was in the front it's a V6 Wow they're a big old barge aren't they Zephyr Deluxe automatic V6 I mean look at the bloody size of the overhang on the front I thought a Mark III Cortina was long when I had one of them but that's fun at junctions awesome we have had a few more arrivals since I've been inside as I might have mentioned the inside bit will be a separate video I think it'll be way too long I'm just going to see if I can pick anything interesting up and I'll try and do a bit of a close-up of some of the stuff in here <clears throat> I'll see a great deal obviously tall but alpine series 2 buried there is that an Austin A40 maybe I don't really know as I said on the intro why these are here Austin 3 litre <coughs> A triumph for claim, I mean, quite a rarity, really. Some of these to be outside in, in such a sad state. There's a escort van, a late one, maybe a Mark VI, I think. Yeah, 52 is one of the last, isn't it? The uh, focuses were out by then a long time. I think the last escorts were like S or T regs, 98, something like that. So, obviously, kept building the van for a while. Yeah, I wonder what the story is with these ones out here. It's like the Granada I had. We've had a few more cars turn up. There's a lovely <laughs> cut down shorty Mini with a Clubman front.
just show you that. How crazy is that? Literally is for backseat drivers that isn't it? <clears throat> I bet that's a bit bouncy on the road. <laughs> Crazy. I've seen another old Merc come in. Don't know if I filmed it yet, I'll go and have a look at it. Nice red one. Just coming up on it now. I'm not up on old Mercs. But that's quite a nice thing, isn't it? A two-door one. Um, and the big old Volvo's a, a nice one as well. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look at the badge and see if it tells me. A 230CE. And the Volvo 240. Lovely. I mean, the Jag's okay. <laughs> I think the princess deserves a bit of a close up. Right, that is us just leaving. We have a steady drive home. Let's see if we make it, hey? I'd see a better view of that mill from on the way in on that shot now. Just entering Belper. this one up um, thanks for joining me on my little drive out on drive it day as I say watch out for a separate video of what I saw inside the great British car journey it's gonna be far too long if I try and fit it all in one video and um, if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you don't already and give us a like and leave a comment I answer them all personally and uh, it would be much appreciated. So I'm now going to just enjoy the drive home and I will see you in a future video.